All right, this lesson is another good one doing uh, words that start with auto and auto has a meaning. I love it when we can do lessons where the start of a word actually gives you some information on the rest of the word. So it's important to know what auto is all about. So I wrote self doing, I just sort of wrote that. So auto means self or something that does it by itself. So anytime you see auto in the front of a word, you can start to guess that it has something to do with itself or it's doing something by itself. So automatic, if something is automatic, it means it's doing it by itself. You don't really have to put any effort into it. It just happens naturally. It's automatic. That's what automatic is. An automatic car, which most people drive now, you just start driving the car. It doesn't, you don't have to shift the gears. So if you don't have to do something, it's automatic. So many things in our lives are automatic. So it just means it's doing it by itself. You don't have to put any extra effort into something. Okay. So autopilot, a pilot is the person who flies an airplane. And if you put the air now, you know, going over a long flight, like a 15 hour flight, the pilots are tired, right? And they've got a lot of computers, automatic computers in there, and you can put it on autopilot. So the plane actually flies itself, not at the, not on the ground when it's taken off and not during landing, but you know, when you're just flying along up in the sky, they can put it on autopilot. And that means it's driving itself. Now the you know, someone's supposed to be looking there, looking out just to make sure everything's working. But basically the plane's just flying by itself based on the automatic computer. And anything that's on autopilot means it's driving by itself. So we use this word. If you ever see this word just randomly in an article or someone uses it, something's on autopilot. It just doesn't always have to be in an airplane. It just means it's doing it by itself. Automobile, um, that's a car. That, all that means is a car, an automobile. Or it, it could be a truck or something, but mobile means, you know, it moves, something moves. So what is a mobile phone? We call it mobile phone, but what it, it's actually spelled mobile phone. It's a mobile phone. What is it? A cell phone. Why is it a mobile phone? Because you can move it around. It's not just it's not stuck in the wall anymore. So we all use cell phones. We all use mobile phones. So mobile means to move and auto means move by itself. And that's basically what a car does. So automobile is a long, annoying word to say. So we just picked car. I don't know the exact history, but the point is that's if you break it down, that's what a car is. It's some, it's something that mobile, it moves by itself, a car. So this one now, autobiography. Okay, a biography is a book that you write about someone else. So if I wrote a story about Michael Jordan, that would be a biography because I'm not Michael Jordan. It's not a surprise, but I'm not. So if I write a book about anybody else, that's a biography. If I write a book about their life, if, so if anybody writes a book about someone else's life, it's a biography. So an autobiography is a book that usually a famous person, because most just normal people usually don't write books, but anyway, an autobiography is a book you write about yourself. You write it about your own life. So it's not just a book, right? It's not just a book you wrote. It's a book you wrote yourself about your own life. So it's a biography about yourself, right? Autograph, you probably know what it means, but it's interesting to see the breakdown of the word. So if someone wants someone's autograph of a famous person, you just sign your name on something. I don't know why anyone cares about those, but that's what it is. Now, what's the difference of an autograph and signing your name? nothing really except the part that 
you know, if I go to the bank, I have to sign my name, but nobody really cares because not everyone does that. But if you meet a famous person, you say, ah, you know, can I have your autograph? That just means they want to see you sign your name and they can say, ah, I met this person. Take a look at their autograph. So it's the thing that they did. Graph is a hard word to explain, but it's a picture of some kind and it's, you know, the picture of the person's own name. So, you know, I just included that even though you already know what the word means, just to sort of say anything starting with auto means it's about itself or it's doing something itself. So you can guess at a lot of words when you start hearing them in the future when they start with auto. You can probably have a good guess at what it means to help, you know, be a lot easier to remember these kind of words.